Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and in today's video I'm going to go over one of the most confusing pieces of redstone in Minecraft, and that is the comparator. So let's start with what the comparator actually looks like. As you can see right here, it has three little pegs, as you can see, and this bottom peg that is two connected right here will be a dim like this if it is not outputting a signal, and if it is outputting a signal, it will be lit up just like this. Now this third peg is actually toggleable, and you can change it by right-clicking, and I will go over the two states later on in this video. Now probably the most basic function of the comparator is to just output the signal that it is inputted from behind. So as before I have an input right behind and as you can see it outputs and it actually does not remove any signal strength. So if it has a five signal strength input it will output five signal strength and it does use one tick when going through it's like a one tick repeater but as you can see it travels the full length of the lever after the comparator so it's technically adding one length to the lever because it's outputting the length of the lever after the comparator and one thing to know about inputs is it is the exact same if there's one redstone dust as if there is none when it's an input just like this as you can see they go the exact same distance here now on to the first actually complicated uh, functionality of the comparator and that is to well compare signals that's why it's called a comparator and so as you can see if I supply it with a signal notice it is losing one signal strength because of this uh, extra redstone dust here and so it is actually outputting a one less than the max signal strength here and if you run redstone in the side this is how you actually compare the signal and so as you can see right here I have the same length right here and so this is actually the exact same signal strength going in and as you can see it does nothing now it will also do absolutely nothing if it is any weaker than the input signal so say it's one weaker it will also do nothing now if the signal input on either side is stronger as I have here as you can see this is one longer so it's one weaker it will not output anything at all which is very useful in some circumstances I've definitely seen some shops that use this for like a payment system they have like a signal inputted here and then a signal inputted here and if the payment is enough this will actually activate and let a signal through to dispense the items that they're buying but this functionality is very uh, specific for different builds and so you should know when you need to use it. Now on to the other state of this third lamp here. Remember if you right click it it will turn this third lamp on and what this does is it turns the comparator into what is called subtract mode. Now subtract mode does exactly what you think it does. It subtracts the input signal from the signal on the side and so as you can see here the signal is one less and then this signal here and so this minus this is going to be one and so as you can see here if I turn this on it outputs one signal now I have another example right here this is five so it's four less than this one because remember one doesn't do anything and so if I turn this on and this on as you can see it's traveling one two three four now in my opinion an easier way to do the math in your head on how much output it, there's going to be instead of counting the signal strength is taking the length of the redstone of the psi uh, input minus the length of the input from the back and so as you can see here 2 minus 1 is 1 and over here 5 minus 1 is 4. In my opinion that's just an easier way of thinking about it instead of 16 signal strength minus 12 signal strength is 4 signal strength you can just do 5 minus 1 is 4. And the final functionality for the comparator is to output a signal from blocks that can store items in them and some of those are like a chest, a lectern, a dropper dispenser obviously there are more like hoppers, uh, trap chests, so on I just have four here and as you can see my comparators back here are not outputting anything but if I put an item in each of these just like this then as you can see they are all outputting back here 
and the more items that are in a storage uh, block, the stronger the signal will be back here. And I don't know the specific numbers for how many items you need to put in each one to get the specific signal strength. You can look that up, it's not that hard. But another uh, cool thing about the comparator is you can actually have a block here and then the comparator and it will work the exact same. You don't need to be touching it directly like this. Like I said, you can have a block right here that the back is going into just like that. Anyway guys, that's going to be it for this video. If you still have any questions about the comparator, feel free to leave a comment down below and I'll try to answer as quickly as I can. But anyway, if you enjoyed it, please subscribe and leave a like down below. I make videos just like this one every single Friday, and I'll see you in the next one.